previously on Scary Survival. Wait a minute. Is there light coming from that cell? Wait. Do you guys see that? I see something. No. No way. Yes! Yes! Testing! 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 It's me! Testing! Testing! I am test subject 002. I am designed to serve. Serve who? My master is Hades. And that means Hades is still alive. Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream here with episode 2 of the Scary Survival Season 2. And today I'm going to be doing everything in my power to return Test Steve's memory. Because honestly, I just want the loving best friend that Test Steve was to me back in my life. And then we can worry about Hades, if he still exists, and if he's still out to kill Test Steve later. So let's go ahead and pay Test Steve a bit of a visit. Now I have a few ideas on how we can return his memory. The main one being, let's take him to his home village and see whether, you know, something about his childhood rejogs his memory and then it just, you know, all comes flashing back to him. Also from last episode, I stocked up on just a few basic items here and there, just in case anything happens and we need to defend ourselves. But I do doubt it since this place is pretty much abandoned. But um, okay. Here we are, back in the dungeon, and just over there, guys, is a remnant of who Test Steve was. And we're going to try and get him to remember who he was and whose side he is fighting on. Let's do this. All right, guys, wish me luck. Okay, he's sleeping. Test Steve! Test Steve? Hello? T Test Steve! Hi, it's, it's me, your best pal, Jordan. He's just ignoring me, guys. What do I do? Um, I want to take you back to where you were born. Your home village. He's just ignoring me, guys. Ah, oh, this is already going so badly. I need your help, guys. Please drop a like down below. One like equals one luck that Test Steve gets his memory back and he fights back on the side of good. Please, guys, if you know, if you want to do what's right and you want Test Steve to be a good guy again, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, hit the bell icon to link ding ding so you don't miss an episode and you always know what's going on. And guys, if you have no idea what's going on, you can watch the previous episodes in this series by hitting the little I in the top left or right hand corner now. But we've got to try something else because this is clearly not working. Wait a minute. Last episode, he called himself Test Subject 2. He'd forgotten his name that we gave him, Test Steve. So perhaps if we use that name, Test Subject 2? He's up! He's up! Whoa, 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 whoa! No, Test Steve, Test Steve, I'm innocent. I'm dumb, I'm, I'm coming, peace. Look, steak, steak means peace, I hope. Okay, he's taken away his weapon. Okay, uh, Test, uh, Test Steve, um, Test Subject 2. I, I know you don't believe me, but um, you were actually, you have a home village and I want to take you there. Oh, no, guys, he's just ignoring me again. He just doesn't care at all. He literally, he just wants to stay here. Why doesn't he want to leave? I don't know. Is he waiting for something? Someone? I have another idea, but we need to be out of earshot of Test Steve so he can't hear what we're saying. All right, guys, here's my plan. Basically, Test Steve thinks he serves Hades now. Perhaps if we pretend we're working for Hades, we can tell him that uh, for some reason Hades wants him to come with us and then we can take him to his home village and then maybe then all his memories will come back and we won't have to, you know, play pretend again. But if we pretend we're working for Hades, he might actually listen to us. It's worth a shot, guys. Let's do this. Once again, leave a like for one luck that this works. All right, here goes nothing. Test Steve! Test Steve? Ah, oh, right, um, uh, test subject two. Um, I work for Hades. He's listening, he's listening. Um, and Hades wants you to come with me. Yes, I think he's saying yes. Um, he needs you to come with me. Is that okay? He's saying yes, so you'll come with me, right? 
just this way then? It's working, guys. He's working. He thinks I'm working for test. He, I'm not. It's not working for test Steve. He thinks I'm working for Hades. He's following me. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just this way, test Steve. Hades wants you to come with me. Okay, guys. This is good. We've got him following us, and now all we need to do is take him back to his home village, and hopefully, this will fix everything. I'll see you guys there. And we're back. Test Steve's home village. Test Steve. Test Steve. He doesn't even care, guys. This is not looking good. Test Steve, come on, I gotta show you around. He's not listening. Test Steve! All oh, right, oh, gotta call him Bloomin' Test Subject 2. That breaks my heart to say that, guys, because he's forgotten his name. Test Subject 2! Um, Hades wants me to show you around this area. Yes. Okay, so, um, this house here, this is, um, this is where you grew up, Test Steve. This was your home. And you had a mother, and you had a sister named Eve. Her name was the scientist, and uh, she used to live here. You used to live with, with her and your mom here. You were raised here, Test Steve. It's just, he's, not even, he's not even paying attention. He just doesn't care, guys. It's not working. Okay. <sighs> Attempt number two. Let's try over here. Test subject two. Come over here. This here... This, this is where we set up base in the village to prepare to fight against corrupt Steve time and time again, you and I. And like, this is where we stored our stuff. Wait, is there still stuff in here? Ah, oh, no, there isn't. It must have disappeared with the, what? Is he just? He's just digging up, wait, he literally doesn't, it's not working guys. He doesn't remember. Test Steve, do you not remember any of this? He, he just doesn't care. He, he literally doesn't care. Come on, Test Steve. Let's let's look at the next place. Oh, right. Test subject two. Come on. Hades wants you to keep looking around this area. Oh, I hate this, guys. He just doesn't remember. This was the town hall of your village. He, he's just looking at... He doesn't... It's, it's not registering for him, guys. What, what will it take? Oh, I have an idea. Uh, come this way, Test Steve. This way. Okay, cool. And... Just in here. This is the bunker. Come down here. Maybe this will bring back some sort of traumatic flashback, guys. I mean, it's kind of cruel, but it might work. This was where your mum hid you in this bunker when Hades raided this village. Do you remember? Test subject two? <laughs> it's not working, guys. He doesn't remember anything. It, he just looks everything blankly. It's like he doesn't care. Where is... What happened to him, guys? What did they do to his memory? How is it so totally gone? I'm running out of ideas, guys. What do I even do? Like, what am I supposed to do right now, guys? We've shown him his home village. How many other things are going to remind him of who he is, the person he was, and, you know, how he was fighting against Corrupt Steve, how Corrupt Steve corrupted these lands, and together we defeated him, or at least... I thought we defeated him, but it seems like he might still be alive along with Hades. And we removed corruption from the world and from Minecraft, and yet Test Steve doesn't remember a single bit of it. He... If Hades was still alive, he did exactly what he thought was going to destroy me. He removed Test Steve's memory entirely from me. Wait. He placed a sign. Let's see what it says, guys. Are you taking me to your master. My master? Who's my master? Oh, as because he thinks Hades is my master. Um, what do we tell him, guys? <sighs> well, what else are we gonna do? It's not like we can tell him anything else or he's gonna ditch us. Yes, right now, in fact, I'm taking you to your master, which is um, uh, one of these directions. Oh, wait, he's Tesla. I know a shortcut. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, guys, I have an idea. So, uh, test subject to, you know, I work for Hades, you work for Hades, all that stuff. I know where the shortcut is, but as I was saying, just to make sure, because I don't know if you're a traitor or something, so I need you to show me that you know where the shortcut is. Right, because, I mean, I obviously know, but uh, I need you to show me as proof. Oh, he's going? Where is he going? What is he trying to do? Is he trying to scale the wall? Why... He's trying to point to up there, but that's Eugene's bedroom, and that place being been destroyed. How is that going to help us find a shortcut to Hades? I don't know what he's on about, but we may as well. Test Steve! Test Steve! Test Steve! Uh, test subject two! 
There ain't no point trying to scale the wall, all right? You can't... You can't just go vertically up. We need to find another way up there if, if you so badly want to get up there. So try and look around for something you can climb up, okay? All right, he's looking here, guys. If we can somehow, if Testeve isn't lying and he does know a shortcut to Hades, perhaps we can sneak into wherever Hades is and he'll have whatever device or thing he used to remove Testeve's memory. And then, you know, if we can figure out what removed Testeve's memory, we might be able to figure out some sort of reversal process that can return all of Testeve's memories and then together with Testeve, we can take out Hades once and for all because he would be weakened by now, right? Oh, if only we had the scientist, she'd know what to do here. Teste, how did you get up? Testeve's a monkey now? Is that what's going on, guys? How did you? Okay, uh, Testeve, can you show me the way up here? Where is he going? Okay. Oh, if he's ignoring me again, wait, no, he's coming back down here. Around here. Oh yeah, we can parkour up here. Testeve, you are a genius still. I mean, he hasn't lost his genius quality, guys. All right, up here and right up. And we can get up here. Okay, this is where Eugene's bedroom was. I remember, and there was like a bell here, like some banners, and there was all types of things going on here. But why are we up here? Test subject two. I don't understand. What is he? It looks like he's looking for something, guys. I don't understand. Ugh, Testeve, this is a waste of time. There's nothing up here. And look, even if there was a shortcut up here once upon a time, this place has been destroyed. We're not going to find anything. Come on, Testy. Let's go. We're going to try and find your memory some other way. Wait. Is he trying to show me something, guys? I think Testy's trying to show me something. All right. I'll come take a look at it. There's nothing here. This has been destroyed, Testy. What are you looking for? Wait. You're going down there. You wanted to come up to Eugene's bedroom, and now you want to go down there. Look, I won't understand you, but I'm coming. What is it, mate? Over here. A lever. What do you think that lever does, guys? Does this have something to do with the shortcut? But I don't think it would do anything now, would it? Because, I mean, it's been here for a while and this place is destroyed. Wait, Testeve, don't hit the lever! You have no idea what that does! That could blow up the whole... Testeve, Testeve, you listen to me! Get back here! All right, that lever could have done absolutely... Test Testeve, get get back here! You have no idea what that could have done! That could blow up anything! What is he... What is he looking for? What is that guy? Wait, is that some sort of secret door? Wasn't there some sort of portal there before? What is going on right now, guys? What is that? Okay, that looks very, very dangerous. What do we do, guys? That could there could be anything hiding down there. Is that where Hades is? Okay, we should be very, very careful. Test Steve! Test Steve! Do not go down there. You don't know what's test Steve. Listen to me! Test subject two! Listen to me, right! Flip. He's gonna get himself killed, guys. We have no idea what's hiding down there. If that goes to Hades. Hades will literally kill us all in seconds. We've got to get down here. Get down here. Get down. Oh my goodness. Okay. What is this? What is this place, guys? I don't like... This is really spooky. It's getting darker down here, guys. What is this place? It reminds me of the scientist's bedroom. Where did Test Steve go? Okay. We're just going to be very careful because this could be a trap. All of it, guys. Okay. I don't see anything. What? What was that? What was that? What was that? What? I, I will kill you! What? Why did you... Test Dave! Test Dave! Don't scare me like that, bro! What was he... What was he doing in here? Is there anything in here? Test it! It was... It was Test Dave. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Test Dave, you cannot do that! <sighs> what? I'm really beginning to dislike this version of Test Dave, guys. That gave me an absolute heart attack. What is this... What is this place? It, I mean, it doesn't seem like a trap, guys. It just seems like a little scientist bedroom kind of thing. Or it kind of reminds me of just like a, a, like a study room or something. I don't know. It also looks pretty much abandoned. What does that sign say? Corrupted chunks. And there's just a bunch of empty item frames. What are we even supposed to do with all of this? I don't understand. Wait. Is Testeve trying to show me something? What is it? He's holding a, a, a map. What does he want me to do with the map? You want me to place the map inside one of these item frames? Yes. Maybe the maps lead us to Hades somehow, guys. But I don't have any... I don't have any items to make a map. And I don't have paper. Or I need iron and redstone to make compasses. I don't have any of that left. Testy, what? What is it, mate? Why do you love this chest so much? Okay, well, look at it. Wait a minute. There's paper here. And redstone and iron. He's trying to tell me to make maps to put in the item frames. And maybe somehow that will lead us to Hades. Is that what he's trying to say? I don't know. It's worth a shot here, guys. Let's grab the iron out here. We'll grab the paper and the redstone. 
And how many maps are we going to need? We're going to need one, two, three, four, five, and then three. So that's 15 maps all up. Is, do we even have enough resources for that? Let's give it a go here, guys. So we'll go ahead. We're going to need compasses, I believe, are in the center. That gives us 11. We're going to need 15. So we need four more. Is there iron in any other of these chests, Testy? Okay. In here? No? In here? Well, we'll check it out, guys. Oh, there is more iron here. And more paper. Fantastic. All right. So we'll go ahead and we'll make some more compasses. We only need 15. So we need four more. Okay. So we've got 15 compasses. And now we need to surround these 15 kampai compasses. Is, is the plural of compass kampai? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. So we'll surround that there. And that gives us eight maps. We're going to run out of paper here as well. I hope Testy's got more paper. He's hardened up his sleeve somewhere. Testy? Testy? In here? More paper as well. Fantastic. Okay, so I think that should be enough to let us make all the maps that we need. So let's go ahead. Bang, bang. So we only need five more. Please, guys, fingers crossed we have enough paper. Yes, okay. So we have the 15 maps that we need. But emphasis on the word empty, because we're really supposed to believe that somehow placing empty maps in item frames is going to do anything at all? Because I don't think it will. What do you think, Test Steve? Test Steve? Oh, right. Test subject two. I obviously know the answer because I work for Hades too, but uh, we're supposed to put the empty maps, like not do anything to them in those item frames, right? Yes, really? Guys, I don't think this is going to do anything, but I mean, it's worth a shot. I mean, what harm can it really do? Let's give it a go. I mean, it's going to be a waste of time. But anyway, in three, two, one. Wait, did you guys see that? My empty, keyword empty, map just turned into a not so empty map. That is a full map. It's like some sort of ocean with a bunch of like weird blocks. Are those chunks? Does that have something to do with corrupted chunks for those of you who don't know chunks are like how minecraft world renders it's like blocks of land kind of thing but those are like random minecraft chunks but more importantly there's a map there let me know in the comments down below am i going crazy or do you guys see this map too do the rest of these item frames have some sort of magic ability that turn empty maps into full maps i mean it's worth a shot let's try this next one does this have something in it in three two one it does how about this one this one did too guys what about this they're all turning into maps. This one? Yes. And this one? And this one? How about this one? Yes. And this? And this? It's making a giant map. What about this one? They're all coming together to make a giant map here, guys. What about this one? Yes. And this one? It's a giant map. Wait. Test Steve, you're seeing this, right? I mean, test subject two, you're seeing this, right? It's a huge map. It must be a map of whatever this place the corrupted chunks Ah, oh, I mean, it looks like corrupted chunks. Chunks are like blocks of Minecraft world. Look at this, guys. There's like random blocks here. And then like there's this red block out here and whatever that is. This does not look like normal Minecraft terrain. And then there's like this red stuff. What is that? And what is that? And like, is that yellow sand maybe? Wait, is that a, an arrow? That's an arrow that appears on maps when another player or entity is somewhere on the map. Is this what Test Steve meant when he said there was a shortcut to Hades? Is that the location of Hades? Test subject two, where are you? Is that where you want us to go? Is that your shortcut? Yes, that's it. I don't know whether when we get there, Hades will still be there, guys. Or if it even is Hades. But at least it looks like he's at some sort of thing going on. Like something weird is going on here. And it's right in the center of the map. Perhaps there might be some clue on how we are able to return Test Steve's memory. But how am I even going to get there? This map is huge. And this corrupted chunks could be even bigger than this map. I mean, I could take all the maps. No, wait, I can't. I don't have enough inventory space for that. Mm, even if I could... It'd be pretty useless because I can't hold all the maps at once and it'd just be very confusing. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. If I just take the center map, my icon should appear on it and then I can just keep heading in the direction of this location until I get there. That should work. All right, let's grab this. But wait, 
I'm not appearing on the map. Why not? I must be out of range. Oh my goodness! The roof is falling! Oh, Sensei, look out! The roof is falling and this room is collapsing. We need to get out of here. Come on, Sensei. Go, go, go. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know what happened, but somehow taking the map and bringing this room. It's falling apart and we need to get out of here. Hey, Sap! Go, 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 go. Okay, a minute out, Sensei. Ooh, we're alive. Wait a minute. Testing? Testing? Oh no, Testing's trapped in there, guys. That whole room is collapsing. If he doesn't get out, he is going to die, guys. And we can't go down there either because we have the map with Hades. And if we die, it'll be lost forever. Testy, please, I hope you're down there somewhere. Please, wait, I think I can see his head. Testy, come on. Get out of there. Go quick. The door is closed. Go, go, go. Yes, Testy. He's alive. Yes. Thank goodness. Testy's alive. Wait a minute. Do you guys see that on Testy's face? Wait, is that what I think it, it is? Oh, no. That's corruption. Wait a minute. The last time Testy was corrupted. Oh no, he's coming for us. Get the sword out. I think he's going to kill us, guys. Please, I hope not. Please, Testy, don't try and kill us. Testy, what is he doing? He's staring at us. Testy, I mean, test subject two. Are you, do you want to kill me? No, he said no. Okay. So he's not fully corrupted, but he's still partially corrupted. You can see it on his face, guys. That means that whatever was down there somehow corrupted him or, or did something to him, which means even though this was the corrupt dimension and corruption's mostly removed, there is still some corruption in this world. This is bad. This is bad. There's still corruption in the world. Hades still lives. Corrupt Steve still lives. What is this? It's like some sort of dystopia. Okay. That corruption could spread and then he will try and kill me. Test Steve, we need to find a way to heal you. Right now. I don't know how, but we're going to find... No? No? What? Why not? No. You must take me to my master. We can't take him to Hades, guys. Hades will just corrupt him more. But what choice do we have? He knows how to heal me? I'm sure he does, guys. But what do we do? We take him to Hades. We just lose. Maybe... Maybe we should... We don't know any way to heal him at the moment anyways. Perhaps if we take him to Hades, we can think of a way to heal him or find a way to heal him along the way. And now that we do have this map, we could get there. I don't think if we have a choice, guys. We're going to have to take him to Hades. I don't have any other way to heal him. And we've got to move fast because that corruption will spread. <sighs> All right. This way? That's the way... Oh, yeah, I, I knew the way. That, that's the way to Hades, right, isn't it? Test Steve. Test subject two. Yes, yes, it is. Okay, so maybe if we keep heading in that direction, guys, we'll eventually appear on this map. At the moment, it seems we're too far away. All right, guys, I guess we're just going to have to keep heading this direction until we reach wherever this map is. Okay, update for you guys. We just started appearing on the map. You can see my icon in the top right hand corner, which means we must be going in the right direction. So I guess test subject two, can you keep leading us? All right, I guess we just keep following this map until we get to where we need to go, guys. I mean, appearing on the map is definitely a step one. Wait, do you guys see this? What? What is this? This is a little bit weird. It's like a perfectly messed out, like, glitch thing. I mean, I've seen stuff like this in Minecraft before, but I don't know, not anything this big before and so perfect. It's like a bunch of chunks just got replaced with water, even over here, guys. Huh. I don't know, strange. Probably just some sort of glitch. Let's go ahead and keep heading in the direction we need to go, I guess. It is very strange, though. I'm not sure why it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like being overly cautious because, you know, the whole corrupted chunks thing, guys, because I have seen glitches like that in Minecraft before. Okay, let's have a look just over here. Wait, is that what I think it is? No, there's no way. I am seeing things, guys. There's no way. I am actually going crazy. Let me know in the comments down below if you are seeing that right now. Am I going insane? Okay, no way. That's not what I think it is. Is that... No, I, I think I know what it is, but I don't want to say it in case I sound like an idiot, guys, because that makes no sense. It is. 
That's an end city built. That is an end. This here. This is an end city built. What is this doing here? And it's like perfectly again in chunks. And look, this chunk is perfectly cut as well. There is some very whack stuff going on right here. Not only are these corrupted chunks in this dimension, but this literally came from another dimension. What? Wait, do you guys see that in the distance? Hold up. What is going on out here, guys? Have we... Is this part of the corrupted chunks? Is this what it meant? What is that mushroom? Sup that is not normal. Is that what I think it... Yeah. Holy moly. There was end city. And now this... There's like a spruce biome there. Then there's some desert. And then there's an extreme mountains biome all messed into each other. Wait. That lava is going into the water and it's not even forming obsidian or stone? Every part of this makes no sense whatsoever, guys. I don't, I don't understand. And wait, is that what I think? No, wait, wait. We need to get onto the tree line so we can get a better look at this here, guys. Is this what the corrupted chunks are? I honestly don't, I, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm just so shocked. This doesn't make sense as normal Minecraft. Look. That's a desert temple out there. What is that doing here, guys? What? This must be the right direction. There's no way it can't be. I've never seen in all my years of Minecraft, guys. Have you ever seen anything like this? Let me know in the comments. Is that a jungle biome? I've never seen this many jungle biomes. Uh, this many biomes so close to each other. It's a tiger biome. A, a, a giant tiger biome. And then a jungle biome. And wait, is that a spruce biome? This is, this is insane. How far does this go, guys? Wait. This was some sort of ocean, and on the map, we saw a giant ocean, guys. And this, this is a giant ocean. This must be these corrupted chunks. Was this created by Hades as a place to hide or corrupt Steve? Or was this always here? Was this a result of something gone wrong? Some sort of experiment, maybe by the scientists? I don't know. I have so many ideas of how this happened. I'm interested to know your opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments down below, but this place is huge. Wait, no way. Is that an ice bite? No. That is literally an Ice Spikes biome out there, guys. That, that's an Ice Spikes biome. It looks like it goes on forever. It's just so vast. How far? We saw how big that map is. Is that what this world looks like? Is that never? This is so strange. What? Where do we even go from here, guys? Wait. Testing's writing something. Be careful. The world past here is unnatural. Yeah, no kidding, mate. Good observation. I totally couldn't tell them that the world past here is unnatural. Is that a snow biome? Yeah, okay, Test Steve, I get the point. It, it is unnatural, I know. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. Okay, look, I'm sorry, Test Steve. I didn't mean to offend you there, man. But yeah, I can see. I can see the world is... Wait, is he planning on writing something else? He's got a sign out. My master is bigger than this world. His master, as in Hades. So Hades made this. Maybe? I don't know. It seems like he's doing something outside of this. I think we should definitely inspect one of these chunks and get a better look at it, guys. Alright, here we go. Wait, what? Are you guys seeing this? Connection lost? Mod error? A mod error? How can I have a mod error on a world that has no mods? This doesn't make any sense. How do I have mods? Wait, no, it's an error because I don't have mods. Requires version missing on client? Not found on client? Yeah, of course it's not found on the client. I don't have any mods on this world. I need, what, baubles? Not enough items? Thorncraft? I know not enough items, but I've never heard of the other two things. I'm so confused. Why did, Why a mod error? I don't have mod. Okay, let's leave this menu and see if Test Steve can tell us something about it. Okay, I've left the menu. Test Steve, I mean Test Subject 2. I got a mod error. Do you know anything about this? He's writing something else. My master can draw power from outside this world. Guys, I'm not sure, but I think Hades might be able to use things that aren't inside normal Minecraft. He's becoming so powerful or perhaps, I don't know, why would he need mods? Is it giving him new powers? Maybe he put the mods in there so that I can't go into the corrupted chunk so I can never get to him. Maybe he's using it to make himself invincible from the divine gem. I don't know why, but here's the thing, guys. If I don't put these mods on my world, that's the end of the line for us. We literally cannot go there. We cannot track down Hades. We cannot go to this location. 
And if we don't do it soon, Testy will be fully corrupted until he turns into a mach killing machine. So it's up to you. I would never, I said I would never cheat on this world and I, I never have, but I might have to use mods if we are to track down Hades. Cause I mean, if you want to beat someone, you have to become like them and he's using mods. So do I, I don't know. I'm not going to make this decision. I'm going to leave it totally up to you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. If you think I should put mods, do hashtag allow mods in the comments. If you think no, I shouldn't put hashtag no mods in the comments. But remember, if we don't use mods, this is the end of the line. I guess this is the end of season two already so early. It's up to you. Make the decision you think is right in the comments below.